So today was a big cumulative uh, <clears throat> summative assessment for uh, a unit in world history, which was the 1950s to today, and a unit in English, uh, Freshman Comp and Lent, which was reading um, uh, Blaine Hardin's, Hardin's, Hardin's Escape from Camp 14, uh, the memoir basically of a guy named Shin who escaped from a political prison camp in North Korea. And I had students, um, I, I had them brainstorm the reasons for and against getting rid of North Korea's current regime for from the perspective of China, South Korea, and the USA. And today I separated them into six delegations, each delegation representing um, one side of the uh, government for one particular country. And it was a very intense debate. I, I had students um, also write a two-paragraph, basically they say, I say argument beforehand for the uh, kind of the written portion of their assessment. And then, then we had a debate in which every student was required to talk. And, um, you know, I'm sitting here writing uh, a post for teaching the core, and uh, yeah, I just wrote the phrase, I really don't think you can have students debate too much. And as I wrote it, I remember something that happened in class today that I just wanted to share. And that is, we're done with the debate, we're done with the writing. All this argumentation, I mean intense, a lot of effort and energy exerted, intellectual and otherwise. Um, we had reflected on how we've done, talked honestly about our weaknesses, where we need to grow. and. We got talking our, our next topic for our next unit, which is kind of current um, current history, history in the making, and Fahrenheit 451. And uh, we were talking about is the internet making us better or worse as people? And literally, this was probably 10 minutes after the debate ended, I had a kid ask me, can we debate this? And even at this point, I was kind of tired. Of, of you know following and tracking and analyzing and finding holes in arguments and this this freshman student who is not like you know he's not he, he, he's not like my you know kid who constantly wants to you know engage with school necessarily um, he wanted to debate and we're, we're not talking about an activity that's free time here. We're talking about something that's, um, that students are held accountable for and uh, that involves a lot of sitting and listening and not just a lot of talking. So that is just one more piece of anecdotal evidence, which is really all I have. Uh, but it's just another powerful uh, thing to think about when you consider um, – Am I allowing students to argue enough? Am I giving them opportunities to practice the deeply intellectual and engaging and transferable skill of argumentation? If you've had any great successes lately with argument in your classroom or failures, uh, share them, please, in the comments right down here.